slave in Pakistan who was killed for speaking out. 12-year-old Craig Kilberger and his older brother Mark decided to take a stand and raise their voices to create a better world. Despite being told that they were too young to make a difference, the two brothers banded together with a small group of young idealists to form what is now known as the WE Organization. WE exists to make doing good doable, providing young people with the tools they need to change the world. Now, the brothers who started it all share their story with millions of young people, appearing everywhere from the Oprah Winfrey Show to WE Day stages across the globe. Their hope is that young people will be inspired to make an impact regardless of their age or where they come from. C'est ça pour faire un bon travail, c'est pour dire qu'on veut aider les acteurs, les actrices de changer, de changement comme vous, avoir le pouvoir grand impact possible pour améliorer notre monde. Merci pour être ici aujourd'hui. Et si vous êtes excité d'être ici, faites some noise on 3, 1, 2, 3! Today what we're celebrating, it's, it's, it's what's truly important in this world. What we don't talk about nearly enough, it isn't how many likes someone has on Instagram, it isn't the length of their streak on Snapchat. You know, today what we're talking about, Mark, you and I know it's something so much more important. Because if a friend reaches out to you because they're being bullied or experiencing mental well-being issues, if you are willing to be that compassionate friend, then show your commitment by standing up right now, get on your feet, stand up. You are willing to be there for a friend who needs you. Thank you, thank you for self-identifying as someone who's willing to provide that help. You know, that's one of the causes we're talking about here today. Young people and families also at home across Canada struggle every day because of hunger. If you are willing to take part in campaigns like We Scare Hunger, provide food for every Canadian, then please show your commitment by raising your hand so we can be seen and counted. Well done. Thank you for making that commitment. Communities around the world are also experiencing extreme poverty, stripping them of basic access that we all take for granted. And if you are willing to help provide education, clean water, health care, opportunity, food, we want you to make some noise! You see, we know that you can tackle these challenges. Thank you. Please grab a seat. Thank you for that show of commitment. Because today, we know that you're not simply adults in waiting. No, the world needs you now. You know, we charity, this whole thing started when we were just teenagers. You know, we saw the story of this young boy, Iqbal Masi, a child slave. He was murdered for speaking out, so I gathered a group of friends in my class. There were 12 of us. We were all 12 years old, so we called ourselves the group of 12 12 year olds. <laughs> so that group grew and grew, and of course became We Charity. And now our goal is to making doing good doable. See, we believe that people want to create good in the world, but they often don't know where to begin, or they lack the tools to make doing good doable. So that's why the WE organization created WE Schools. Now the teachers, you know this, is about empowering students with service learning resources. And of course, none of this would be possible without the incredible teachers who are our heroes. So students, please give your teacher a giant Teachers! Teachers, we love you. Please grab a seat. 
So we listen to what's important to you. So take a moment, take a moment and think of this question. Now this might refer to you, a friend, a family member, a fellow in your school. If you know someone who's been impacted by depression, anxiety, or other mental health concerns, please raise your hand. That's a lot of hands being raised right now. Well, we heard you. And we know that the issue of mental health is so important. And so that's why this year we're launching a new element. You've heard it frequently on the We Day stage. It's called We Well Being. Now, this is a program that empowers students, teachers, families, all with the educational tools and the resources to promote their own, your own, positive mental well-being and also to help build that strength and that well-being of the community around you. So for more information, check out we.org slash well-being. We'd also like to say a special thank you to our founding partners, the Erica Legacy Foundation, for their incredible support and all our partners who've helped make We Wellbeing possible. If you're passionate about this topic, let's give them a round of applause. Thank you, teachers. You know, today you're hearing about from people who want to make a better world, and, and that's why we're all gathered, but we need your help. We want you to promise to take action on something you hear about. Whatever cause connects with you here today, that's why we're asking you to make a promise to get to it. So we need your help. We need your help to get to it here. So when we point to you, we need you to say the words, get to it. Okay, we're going to practice this. When we point to you, you say get to it. Ready? Get to it! Awesome. All right, everybody on your feet. We need some energy. We need some noise. We're going to get going. We're going to get to it. Two. Two. Get to it! You know, when Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream, he didn't choose to keep it to himself. Instead, he rallied others to his cause. He chose to... When Malala Yousafzai was attacked for speaking out, she refused to be silenced. She made her voice heard. She stood up for women around the world. Malala chose to... So, when we're faced with a choice, will we stand by? Will we close our eyes? the suffering of others? No! Yeah. We will! Yeah. Because where there's injustice, we will! Yeah. Where there's poverty, we will! Yeah. Today, we will! Yeah. And together, we will! Yeah. And all of us here in this stadium will! So, Marie Pierre, what has been your favorite part of Vida so far? There, well, I love a lot of things, but the story of Danny Mills and the Nadja Zibian on the creation of faith and love, I think it's an excellent way to remember the difference that we can do when we love as we are and as we are and as we are in front of us. Yeah, and Karim Abdul-Jabbar's passion and openness to sharing his story with all of us demonstrates that we should never be ashamed to speak up. Absolutely. Now, don't forget to follow us on social media at We Movement to keep up to date with all the exciting things happening during the show, and please tag me in your posts. <laughs> now, KPMG in Canada is committed to developing the leaders of tomorrow. We and KPMG have joined forces to create leadership training Learn today, lead tomorrow, to help you get doing through skill development and forming habits that will help you become active members in your community. Check out we.org slash leadership training to take action and join the next generation of leaders. As KPMG says, let's do this. Now, who's ready for some music? They are a global pop group featuring talented singers from 14 different countries around the world. Please make some noise for Now You're United!